Lena, what are you doing there? What is going on, guys? I had a late start because uh, yeah, I was mom, working on mom, designing our yeah, newest hat. Ouch, what did you put on me? So rough. Uh, I'm working on a new hat. We're going to come out with dad hats. I fought it for the long enough. I think I'm going to come out with dad hat. But best believe it's going to be dope. So basically, on the screen, um, not quite, quite done with it, but just simple spark plug and the old because in the back should look really, really good. I'm doing on black hats with white stitching, I think, as of right now. And we're going to be doing like bleached. Um, I don't know if you guys ever seen it, but it's like um, bleached black hats. They're dope. I like it. Um, we're going with a different style. I'll keep it innovative as usual. But if you guys haven't checked it out already, check out the new shirts. They're freaking zoop selfs. Got that one and the narrow one. I even, I haven't even pulled one for myself. Uh, my dream it, build it version two. Um, I gotta, I gotta grab one. I don't know what I'm doing today. I'm just kind of relaxing. Um, I just want to talk to you about um, what I'm up to because I, again, I get all these sprees on um, me doing, 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 and I kind of don't sit back and. Uh, I always like sitting back and talking to you guys and letting you know what I'm up to, my vision, why I tinted my tail, front tail lights or front headlights. I never actually explained. I told you I was going to explain, but I never did. So if you guys ever follow like the Ebisu cars, or I'm sure you guys all know what it looks like, but like the real JDM cars, the real obnoxious looking cars, that's honestly what I'm going for. Like blacked, blacked out headlights all red crazy chaos um seen it a couple of times and it's like me trying to replicate their style i you know i grab inspiration from all different things mainly why i tinted my headlights because i'm calling i'm going for like a japanese esque style and i'm pretty excited about it guys i'm super excited uh, we're trying to get everything prepared for this upcoming event in august um, we're trying to get new Clutch King Cancer shirts. We have these shirts available, as well as our Dream Build It version twos. Um, and I'm trying to get a new batch of slaps in. I'm trying to get prepared for the event because the event, the small event we went to, we got wiped clean. And I don't want that to happen again. There's a lot of um, people that came up to the booth and we were all sold out. And I want to make sure that I have the perfect amount of uh, inventory for you guys because usually on my on my normal stuff I usually keep a low inventory count but uh, with the event coming up I'm trying to get everything situated have options for everyone and um, give you guys variety because uh, I know a while ago you guys asked me if uh, I was gonna ever do dad hats and I originally said no but as time changes and I evolve as a human being I'm going in a different direction with the whole entire um, brand if you want to call it going more broad i want to try new things try different styles um i'm collaborating with a great friends of mine i'm um kind of uh not doing this by myself anymore i'm getting others opinions and my, my homie brandon um and scotty g has i kind of talked to them and um you know i asked them for help i asked them for their opinions and mike always helps me um bradford helps me um, there's a lot of people i consult with and um consult with and it's a collaborative effort, collaborative effort and it's never just me. Um, I just usually like to uh, try to find what works. What works for me? Am I happy with the designs? Am I happy with the style? Just try to execute because like design and execution is great. And um, I spend so much time on figuring out proper ways to execute that sometimes my ideas are kind of blank. I'm, I'm kind of, I have an idea of what I want to do, but I, um, you know, uh, a good friend may be like, well, we'll try this. I'm like, oh, why didn't I think of that? So they say four eyes is better than the two eyes. And I always try to get as many people as involved, especially good friends, people that I really value their opinion. Be excited. So if you guys haven't checked it out, go check it out. Um, I want to. I don't know what I was just saying. Lost train of thought. I just got something in um, from my buddy. If you guys ever know, I get all my, like anything that's, a, that's in Japanese, I asked my buddy's girlfriend and I just got a quote, a future t-shirt I want to do back. And I was like, oh, it looks dope. Um, you're gonna do more more Japanese style, more real Japanese-esque t-shirts, hats. Um, let me know what you guys think of the dead hats. Um, they should be coming out 
hopefully in two, I have to have them in two weeks. So they'll be here in two weeks, available probably around the same time. Pretty excited. I've never got into dad hats, but I'm, I'm curious to see how I like them. Um, I probably will rock one. Um, my hair is getting super long, so me without a hat looks ridiculous. Well, I don't really care, but yeah, I'm saying. But uh, yeah, super excited. So, future plans. I've always wanted to do this. Ah, finally, I, I wrote a list last week on what I wanted to do for videos, and today I'm gonna do it. So future list, what am I gonna do after the freaking K? What am I gonna do with everything? What do I want the car looking like? I'm gonna make that video right now. Holla at your boy son. All right, got the spotlights on. Um, future plans, someone asked me, am I ever gonna LS or Jay-Z swap it? Who the heck, I wanna shout them out. Um, I'm gonna find this out, hold on. Cause on YouTube, ah, oh, it's gonna be so hard to find. I think it was Euro import. I think it was Euro import. I'm gonna find it, the comment, if I don't find it. If I do find it, it's up here. If not, I don't know. Someone asked me, am I gonna do an LS1J um, swap ever? Am I ever gonna go big, big, uh, big power? And to answer your question, the plan for the car as of right now, as, as it sits, is to get to as many events as, as I can. I've kind of executed relatively well. I've been to I think total four events this year, so I, I'm averaging one a month, which is my plan, exactly right on cue. I could do two a month, but I'm not going to, long story short, I'm trying to get a trailer, but I can't in time. So, anyway, I'm literally going to be doing um, another livery on this side. I probably will stick with the same suspension. Angle feels good. Um, the car feels great. The power feels great. I, if I if the car holds up through the season, I honestly probably will just do a dual caliber setup with a hydro, clean up, and cage my car, and that's it. After this KA blows, after something major happens, then I'm going to do KAT one more time to get a and probably do like a a built, a semi-built or fully built KA. And then, um, so try to get into that 350 to 400 range if possible. Cause right now I'm at 300 on stock internals and everything. Um, so hopefully get to 350 to 3, 400 and then progress from there. Honestly, the hardest thing or what, in my opinion, I like having a low powered car because one, it's cheaper to, cheaper to drift you don't go through as many tires you honestly it's all around cheaper not as much not as many things break with more power comes more things that break I really enjoy so the reliability aspect of it will I eventually do a Jay-Z or how about this let's back up LS or Jay-Z 1UZ or I'm never gonna go RB so to keep that out of the picture honestly through the past year and I used to be, I used to want to go LS right off the jump. Over the past year, I've seen my homie go through three LSs and I've seen multiple LSs fail. So now I'm literally leaning towards 1J. I probably will do a 1J build in the future. And you ask, oh, why not a 2J? Money, it's expensive guys. I know you guys, <laughs> like it's expensive. This channel makes no money. It needs to, it comes from my pocket. It's expensive. So 1J, if anything, heard great things. I've seen great things from 1Js. So I probably would do something along the lines of a 1J down the road. KAT, one more time. Plans for this chassis. Uh, if I don't crash it or smash it, probably will pick up, I'm, I'm working on something that will allow me to get a, a caged S14 shell. It's, I'm talking about shell, like not even rolling shell, like shell. And if I were to get that, I will s probably swap all these parts over to the caged one over the winter or into next season, and then start to put this car back to how it used to be when I first got it. Stock bumpers, st uh, kooky side skirts. Like literally, I would want to uh, get it back to when I first started the channel and do the obnoxious things on the drift car and then throw like a, um, probably a K, another KAT or something relatively, um, you know, has fun. If that were to all fall into place, um, that'd be ideal. And the only thing is, okay, what happens to the GS? I'd honestly probably keep it because I want to build it down the road. I know myself well enough that if someone comes to me with cash, I probably would take it. Um, but 
that so much has to happen I have to get that shell this has to I mean so much work I mean it's literally not even a rolling shell it's just a shell that's caged like nothing no like it might have a steering wheel a column might basically right now focusing on um, designing new apparel getting to the track as much as possible and um, and keep driving keep improving I really want to get um, better at steering get a little faster um, throw a little bit more angle get in bad situations and figure out how to get out of them get a little deeper um, at first I ran wider lines now I'm running mid lines I'd like to get that perfect flow of uh, and really understand the course like I think I will by the end of the season I think Club Loose English Town I think I'm gonna get really familiar with what line to take and how to properly get through the track because I want on the bank I'm way shallow I would like to get my my uh, little wider for my rear bumper I'm actually gonna be cutting it I want to do like I've seen people do half bumpers and um, my buddy Brett Reyes um, if I'm not mistaken, I think he has it. He has like, um, it's not a half bumper, but the m middle section's cut out. I'm thinking about cutting my bumper kind of like all the way up halfway down to like the license plate, I guess you could say, where my bash bar would show. Let me give you an example. Hopefully I'm in focus. If I had a bumper, right, that came here and then curved up to here and then shot across and did the same on the other side, I think that would cap everything real nice. Still enjoying drifting, still enjoying this car. Some of you guys like what I do, some guys don't. Some guys like the way I used to do it. Like I said a million times, this car will continue to change. It will always change. It will never be the same. Um, as months go by, I might revert to the my old parts or I might revert to new stuff. You know what I mean? I'll constantly keep evolving. And I'm just testing stuff out. Like I've never had a car for this long and I honestly get bored. I don't care if it look if I make it look ugly or make it look better. I'm changing it up, I'm trying new things. Um, I'd rather be progressive than static or stagnant in my car builds, whether it's doing simple things like vinyl or trying new motor swaps or keeping the same motor, trying new suspension setups. I really want to, if nothing breaks in two seasons, I'll probably go to like um, a, three, a 350Z trans, I forget, it's like, CW009 or I always they everyone says it so fast I don't understand I don't know exactly what the code is I think it's CW009 but anyway I want to do uh, a little bit longer gear ratio because I run out of gear a lot of times um, but besides that guys that's it man I freaking I love the car I'm still rocking you know what I mean I'm trying my best try my best to keep up and um, keep building this car you know what I mean it's it's we do it we definitely get it and uh, we're gonna keep keep on keeping on so yeah let me know uh, what you guys think of everything yeah but yeah let me know what you guys think of the dad hats because I want to bring that up because they're dope and I'm gonna be excited about them so you guys better be excited about them and if you haven't already go freaking check out a shirt go check out a shirt guys it's the way you guys can support our channel this channel you know what I mean damn you know, but um yeah I don't know what else to say I don't, I don't want to do any work today. I have a lot of other work to do. So um, I think that's it for today. Kind of just a rant, kind of just a talk video. Um, I like talking to you guys because I, it, I like to get, hear the feedback in the comments and then I can reply. Um, so yeah, go buy a shirt guys, for real. Oh no, and I don't mean to force you to buy anything, but I'm saying they're all gonna be gone in, uh, in August. The, the meats wipe us out clean. I don't know what I'ma do, I don't know where I'ma live Cause I feel like I ain't got nothing to give Just wanna follow my dreams, just wanna follow my heart But the world wanna tell me apart right from the start Everything I ever wanted, it ain't what I thought Bring it back to the roots like my name Black Thought This shit right here, no it can't be taught It gotta be learned, it gotta be earned I ain't got a pocket full of money, but I'm full of hope.